Throughout Honda's history, the most important vehicles have been their sedans, the Civic and the Accord. But flash forward to today, and it's this vehicle, which accounts for 25% of all Honda sales. This is the 2017 completely redesigned Honda CRV. It's the leader in the compact crossover segment, and it's got a lot of new features to offer. The CRV has two powertrain options. The base engine available on the lower trim levels is a carryover 2.4 liter direct injected engine. It produces 184 horsepower, but this is the one that you really want to get. It's a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine that produces 190 horsepower. Zero to 60 times have been improved by a second and a half. Both are available in two wheel or all wheel drive and mated to a CVT transmission. Fuel economy on the two-wheel drive turbo is 28 city and 34 highway, while the all-wheel drive produces 27 miles per gallon in the city and 33 on the highway. Pricing starts at $24,045 for the LX, $26,695 for the EX, the EXL comes in at $29,195, and the top-of-the-line touring that we're driving today starts at $32,395. One of the complaints of previous CRVs is that they were soft, they didn't handle well, just didn't have the driving dynamics of some of their competitors, most notably the Mazda CX-5. Well, they significantly stiffened up the suspension and the chassis. There's a lot of high strength steel in here and it really shows. Uh, some of the uh, technologies that they've put into uh, this CRV is what you would find in more expensive vehicles and the result is a very smooth ride when you need it but also on roads like these you get some nice feedback and uh, you know one thing I want to talk about that most people don't talk about is the steering wheel. The old steering wheel turned lock to lock in 3.1 turns. That's not bad. This one 2.3 turns. That's a significant improvement. That's that's like what a vehicle like like a Toyota 86 would do. I'm not going to say it's a high performance crossover by any means, but for a family crossover and a very affordable one, it's been improved dramatically and it really shows. Uh, another area where Honda has demonstrated their ability to listen to their customers is something very simple like this. It's a volume knob. Uh, they did away with it with the last CRV and there were a lot of complaints. Let's face it, this is easier to do than to swipe your hand. They listened, they learned, and as a result, the knob is back. So uh, great, uh, you know, great customer service from Honda. Overall, uh, like the way it feels, the seats are comfortable, uh, the ride height has been uh, lifted about an inch and a half. The, the car is bigger, but it doesn't drive like it's bigger. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which in my opinion are requirements for any new vehicle in 2017. Also new for the 2017 CRV is a completely redesigned instrument panel. Uh, the top trim levels have completely done away with the analog gauges and you know, it's, a, it's, it's a very inviting uh, and quite honestly this is the future. This is where every car company is going to this virtual cockpit. What I don't like are these little dividers. I, I don't understand why they're here. I would prefer just one flush screen, one seamless screen uh, to cover the whole area. The seven inch infotainment screen is quite useful and I like how they've kind of protruded it out. So uh, I think it's, it's better than the recessed ones. Uh, this is a CVT transmission, which I have complained about in the past, but of all the CVTs out there, Honda is definitely the leader in making them feel the most like a traditional Steptronic transmission. We're in sport mode right now and uh, it does make a difference. At the end of the day, there are many great options available in this segment, including the RAV4, Hyundai Tucson, and Ford Escape, just to name a few. And it really comes down to the price point. I mean, you can't go wrong with Honda or Toyota. They are definitely the blue chip stock of the segment, but it's important to look at everything else out there. Mazda has certainly tried to appeal to enthusiasts who are looking for a crossover. I don't know how much of an enthusiast car it is, but it does have some nice driving dynamics, but this new CRV is no slouch. Right now the tailgate is fully open, but let's just say you're shorter and you want this to be your tailgate open height. 
you just hold it for a few seconds, you'll get a series of beeps confirming, and the next time you open your lift gate, it'll come to that exact height. Nicely done by Honda. The compact crossover segment is filled with some great names like the Toyota RAV4, Nissan Rogue, Ford Escape, just to name a few. Clearly, this is the one that everyone is chasing. It's the segment leader as far as volume. And now, as far as I'm concerned, it's the segment leader as far as content and innovation. They've really kind of moved the bar uh, a little bit ahead of everyone else. And I think you're going to get a great vehicle for around $30,000 for a nicely equipped one. Uh, this is the new family vehicle to put in your driveway. I'm Ron Dorn. We'll see you next time on the driver's seat.